still alive. I can't stay here. <sighs> My god. Again? A freaking again? Can I have some supplies at least? Actually, if you're giving me so many supplies, now I'm scared. <laughs> oh, I got too much stuff here. And only one healing item. One proper healing item. Hey. Clock Tower brochure. St. Michael's Clock Tower. St. Michael's Clock Tower is a Baroque-style building which stands at the heart of Raccoon City. It has become a beloved icon, and residents consider it to be emblematic of the city as a whole. St. Michael's Church erected this tower in 1908 with the assistance of several philanthropists. It was dedicated to the children born in the developing city, and the first floor was used as an elementary school for many years. The city saw further growth during its electrification over the course of the early 20th century and the student body of St. Michael's Elementary swelled to over 600 students. Unfortunately, St. Michael's Elementary was shuttered in 1978 as the building began to show signs of age and wear. The clock was deactivated and strict limitations were placed on entry to the surrounding premises. Years passed with this once beloved monument and public plaza on lockdown, but in the 1990s, the Umbrella Corporation worked in league with the mayor, Michael Warren, to renovate and reopen the area this time with proper preservation efforts in place. The clock tower was officially reopened in 1993, and today, the sound of its heavy tolling bells can once again be heard throughout Raccoon City. Is that the same one that was at the police station? It's that one, right? Supplies! There is a disturbance in the air. I can feel it. Okay, that's really not good. They've given me a full healing item. <laughs> a little wine to wind down the body. It's really quiet here. Maybe because all the civilians have left already via the subway. But that's sort of the front, right? Hey, that's a person! That's not a zombie! Oh my god. Yeah, because Umbrella... They're really here to erase evidence rather than save people, right? Dead? Carlos, respond. Yeah, what's up? We didn't make it. The train derailed. Derailed? Was anyone hurt? No, everybody's dead. Mihail, everybody. Oh, shit. Nikolai left us to die. Wait, what? What the fuck? Bitch can't swim He's after bad. all! Chill. Chill, what happened? Oh in. shit! Not this camera angle again! Shh. I feel like Lara Croft. Woo! Sweet dodging. Oh my god. Come on! Ah! Not a good start. Not a damn good start. Oh, I'm only at caution though. Do you wanna die? Oh 
Oh, the timings are a little bit... Mm. He's a big creature, so the timings for getting him are a little bit different. Yeah. I'm missing my timings here because I'm still operating on the human version. What happened to him? Did he get an upgrade? Oh, that's a lot of supplies I'm not actually getting here. Yeah? Hurry! Oh! Oh my god, quit walking into me. That's two greens. Not what I really wanted. No! I have to learn his attack patterns a little bit more first. Right now, it's looking a little bit... Am I getting him at all? Oh my god, how am I alive? Not good though, because now I'll, all I've got is two greens. Gotta use it. Yeah, there's no way we're gonna get it on first try on hardcore, right? I don't think so. Even for grenade rounds, I'm running out a little bit. Reload! still a crate over here. Oh my god, where are you going now? Hey! Maybe now's a good time for me to use the mine rounds? You've gotta be kidding me! Seriously! How's that? My poor mine rounds. Wasted. Oh, there was a red orb right here. Uh... I gotta combine... Hold on. Combine that. Go! Whoa! He just rammed over me. Can you die already? I need a green herb. I don't have another healing item. There's gotta be more around here. Find a way to stop it. Come on! I got it! Are you dead? Oh my gosh! Oh my gosh! He's doing that thing again, but I can't stop him. I need to stop it in its tracks. I don't have any more mine rounds. You're about to take a nasty fall. What are you doing? I'm not gonna try to. Come on. Ah! Well, I tried. I tried. 
Dang, um, does this guy have stages? I'm not sure. Maybe I should prioritize using my mind rounds for getting him off the track. Oh, come on! Hold on. <laughs> no, I can't grab it for now. Shoot. Let's try to save the mine rounds if we can. Because the mine rounds are the only thing that can get it off the rail, right? Oh! Na Whoa, I'm okay. How did that happen? Get all of that. Uh, don't got enough space. But I can try to stack this. Still not good enough. Oh my god! Oh, these are mine rounds. Yeah? Uh, I mean, not much I can do for now. I guess I gotta use them. There's still more around the arena. Maybe I should try using my shotgun a little bit more. Mm-hmm. Not yet. He's doing the thing. Alright. Now we got room, but I probably don't want to pick up the pistol ammo there. So let's pick up the shotgun shells. I don't have mine rounds. It's okay, we'll keep having a look around. I'm pretty sure there were plenty of mine rounds. I just gotta look around. No. Yeah! Is your head your weak spot? Oh my god! Am I okay? Huh, he missed me somehow. Where are the mine rounds? I know they're around here. Flame rounds? I'll take it. Got a green right here, too. Oh! How silly. I wasn't paying attention to him. Oh, you've got to be kidding me. Mmm. This? And then we'll shoot one shotgun shell. Ah! Well, probably I can just use... Why am I still on Vine? What the heck? I'm not complaining. It's just kind of weird. What? Oh, I've still got some back- Oh, I gotta reload. Shoot. There we go. I need to stop it in its tracks. There we go. I'm gonna kill you. I am. Ah! Oh, I should have been able to dodge that one. Why is he only hitting me for caution? Is this like... I'm still on hardcore, right? <laughs> I'm just wondering. Ah! Now I'm probably not okay. And... Ah! Oh, he got me again! But I'm okay. Hold on, I gotta, like, just get some supplies here. Mine rounds again? Oh, 
Oh, right on me. He's having trouble. Oh, second try. Right. Let's do this. Suck it. You still there? Oh, come on. Oh, sorry. You're gonna crap out on me now? God damn it. Um, I did that on the second try, but I feel like it's a little bit strange because he definitely wasn't hitting me for that much damage. I still have a healing thing left. And multiple times he hit me, but I was still at fine. Oh, I'm gonna take it though. I'm not gonna complain. <laughs> um, should I shoot two pistol ammo and then pick that up? Is there more around here? Is there a box around here, more importantly? Well, I guess I mean I'd rather shoot two shells. Oh. I wasn't done looking around. Yes! Yes! Ooh! Oh my god. <gasps> Ooh, is that spike poisonous? You've done me a big favor, Miss. Oh my god! No, I don't feel good at all. Freaking left me here. Jill! Hey, answer me. God damn it. <gasps> Tyrell, do you copy? What's going on? Jill's been infected. I... I'm taking her to the hospital. Maybe Dr. Bard can save her. All right, I'll meet you there. You hang in there, Super Cop. I got you. These two are kind of cute. really didn't have to come back for me, but he did. He's a decent guy, definitely. Oh my god, do I gotta look around at her writhing the whole time? No, let's go, let's go. Jill. Calm down. Oh, that's it. Yeah, we're still on hardcore. I'm just wondering because that boss fight was so much easier than the first one. Usually, don't they get harder? <laughs> uh, I've got a lot on me. Hang in there, Jill. When you see this, and you wash your hands, because that's freaking dirty. All the germs and the bacteria and the viruses. Tyrell, where's Bard now? Gotta be the lab in the back. Stay frosty, I'm on my way. Copy. I'll go on ahead. The good thing about playing as Carlos is that 
The nemesis won't be coming after me. But Jill is right there, so we still gotta be a little bit careful. New formula, making life better. Of course, umbrella. A healthy family is a happy family. That's so true. You could be the richest person on the planet, but if you don't have the health to enjoy it, then it's useless. Spencer Memorial Hospital. That's the one that was in the tabloid at the newspaper stand. The complete digest and the gnawing feeling. That's blocked. Hmm, maybe we just can't go in there. There's no prompt. Yeah, wash your hands! Clean your hands, okay? Good health comes from daily washing. Fulfilling life comes from good health. Of course. That's not scary at all. Patient's best partner. Oh my god, that lady's face is so obviously photoshopped on. It's like not even at the right angle. <laughs> Dude, look at this face and look at that face. Probably they got a real stock photo and they were like, Ah, but that lady's face looks too realistic. Let's make it a cartoon one instead. Ooh. There's a lot of people here. Oh, someone's waking up. Yeah, that's for last resort, okay? It's a good way to accidentally misjudge my skills and then do something else. So let's try to um, avoid leaning on it too much. I say as I lean on it. I'm out of pistol ammo. Gotta be careful here. Ammo is not infinite. Come in. I don't got time for this. Come in, mister. Or miss. This gun takes a long time to really zoom in. Or, I mean the crosshair. Probably because it's not really meant to be used like that. It's an assault rifle. We don't have to touch them. That herb might be kind of hard to get, though. <laughs> Just in case. Were these people in the waiting area? They were waiting to be seen? Don't give me that. Hospital level plus zombies. Kind of reminds me of the... Um, oh, frick, I don't have a lockpick. It reminds me of the No Mercy level from Left 4 Dead. I feel like I see this hat everywhere. Another one? I'm too scared to walk fast. Because it's kind of creepy in here. Yeah, honestly, of all the places we've been to, this might be the creepiest one. I feel like so far, a lot of it has been really, really action-y. And now finally, we get a little bit of a downtime for you to really savor the atmosphere. Emergency, vaccine research.
Might be the lock making it red. Thought there was another door here. Welcome to the office of Dr. Nathaniel Bard. Please state your business clearly into the intercom. I want vaccine. A player for audio cassette tapes. You'll have to put in a tape for it to work. I like how they add that description. Cause some people playing this might be too young to know that. <laughs> Nurses Journal, September 25th. Every day, they bring in more of these mysterious illness patients. The sedatives don't stop their delirium, so we have to put them in straitjackets and move them to the isolation wing. Problem is, the isolation wing is already bursting at the seams. The director has ordered us to admit anyone with symptoms free of charge, but what does he expect us to do? Wish them better? We don't have a cure. And that's not all that's bothering me. When these patients die, they're not collected by the usual mortuary teams. We've been told it's special handling to prevent the illness from spreading, but I'm not sure I buy it. Miranda saw some guys wheeling a body through the forbidden door during the night. Why? Where? What's going on? A lot of suspicion around here. Don't get caught off guard. When you notice a worrying symptom, call your doctor, seek advice, get the help you need. Hey, hi. <laughs> Dr. Bard, are you in there? I'm here to rescue you. Open the door. No voice match found. Voice match? What kind of sci-fi bullshit is this? <laughs> For 98. We probably have to find a tape. Actually, 98? Voice matching recognition? That feels a little bit too advanced almost. Thank you, thank you, thank you. I've got so much on me. I've got four healing items on me. Not complaining though. The more the merrier. That's a real high-tech TV that is completely flat. Well, not entirely, but pretty flat. Okay, I gotta remember my first gun doesn't have any ammo right now. Okay. Y'all coming out? I have a flash grenade, but not a regular one. Are you... You seem like you're kind of slow moving. I can be here all day long. Are you guys lagging? I don't want to use a punch if necessary. Unless if necessary. And that was indeed necessary. What? Be quiet! It's a hospital! Patients are trying to rest here! Ah, I knew it! Oh god, who's behind me? Oh! Oh, somebody's voice being behind me freaked me the hell out! Am I okay? Caution. Alright. Yeah, that lady scared me. Oh my god. Oh shit! Oh! I thought we were on caution! Oh, what the hell? My game crashed. Hey, I just realized there's a door here I didn't see. But it's one that I can't open right now anyway, so... Gotta wait for Jill to wake up, I guess. Spencer Memorial Pamphlet. Welcome to Spencer Memorial Hospital. The heart of Raccoon City's healthcare, the forefront of science. 
Spencer Memorial Hospital was meticulously designed by the Spencer Foundation to serve as the backbone of medical care throughout the region. In addition to our state-of-the-art outpatient wing and spacious inpatient wing, we boast one of the country's largest research wings, where we conduct clinical trials for new drugs that will change the face of medicine across the United States and the world. And the hospital to a lot of zombie people, that's for sure. For that really shouldn't have happened though, like we were on caution and we died. So I'm guessing, I'm guessing what happened was I had a really, really low numerical value for caution to the point that it probably was more in danger and then I just died. What does that mean for me though? Because in the future... Whoa! In the future, if I'm at caution, should I heal right away? That extra shouldn't have happened because we had four healing items on us. Not partial healing items, four full healing items. Isn't that crazy? I'm just gonna put this back on my map again, just in case. That's the door where we came in from. Nothing has gone already. Welcome to the office. Yeah, yeah. Of Dr. Nathaniel Bard. Please state your business clearly into the intercom. I will. Not. Dr. Bard, are you in there? I'm here to rescue you. Open the door. No voice match found. Voice match? What kind of sci-fi bullshit is this? Does he not realize that someone's at the door? Even if it doesn't match, he should be notified that somebody's looking for him, right? Man, I'm just looking at this again. There was no reason why I died that time. That was so bad. Ah, <sighs> you win some, you lose some. Now we really have to be careful here because I gotta just, you know, not have that happen again. This is not how a assault rifle was meant to be used. I'm just saying. <laughs> but you're not gonna be able to stop me. If you're not gonna come over here... Yeah, that's more like it. You're awake. Not gonna make the same mistake again. But this makes me really scared about being on caution though, because how do I know when to heal now? Well, probably when I have four healing items, right? <laughs> I don't even want to get close to you to knife you. Shut up! Oh. God, I thought someone opened the door. No surprises, please. No surprises, please. Ah! Ah! Jesus! What? <clears throat> you deserve many bullets. I thought it was gonna wake up slowly, not like that. Freaked me the hell out. Like I said, the hospital section is getting me a little bit more scared again. Com- uh, not combat knife, but um, I'm looking for something. <sighs> what do I do about you? There is a nice crate behind you. What I really don't want is, later on, if we come across this area again, I accidentally shoot the glass and then you come out and you freak out on me. Uh, for the sake of the crate, I'll do it. I'm trying to break the glass. Does it not work? You're telling me I put a scratch on the glass and that's it? Huh. 
Well, I guess we'll let Jill deal with that. Whatever. <laughs> Yeah, it's actually just bulletproof. Okay. Who put a nice scratch mark there? That's not creepy at all. Holy, I thought that was a zombie head. That poster. We gotta be careful about the beds, too. Does I need a finger or a handprint scanner? Is that a handprint scanner? I don't like this. Nurse's station, patient room one and two. Too bad I wasn't looking, sorry. <laughs> okay, the random noises here and there are starting to freak me out. Oh my god, you don't have a head. You don't have a head. Is someone else here? Got some flashbangs on me. I've got a lot. Shouldn't be shy to use them. It's just that they don't do damage, so not exactly... The ideal weapon. Dude, what the hell happened here? That's a lot of food. Hospital food. But food, nonetheless. You know what? No. I want to check that guy. I don't want you to wake up and get me later on. Okay. Maybe he wouldn't have woken up, but I had a pretty bad feeling about that area. You gonna grab me? Chilling out on the balcony. The assault rifle ammo. It can go pretty quickly if we're not paying attention. Oh, shoot. God damn it. Oh, frick. Oh my god, I... I misclicked. Ugh, whatever. All because I wanted to get the zombie, too. Dang it. The thing about um the shortcuts is that I gotta keep changing them now because we got two different characters, plus we got more than four weapons. So flashbang being on three evidently is kind of um, messing with me. Why don't we switch it to four? Three on the knife. Usually when we use a knife, it's not in a, an emergency of a situation, so I can slowly feel out for it but four is more intuitive for me, for a grenade. Honestly, even like right now, one on the pistol is really bad because there's nothing on one. Freaking change this to one then. Forget about two. Actually, two can be the knife. <laughs> oh my God, I'm like screwing myself over. I'm gonna forget all the keys and we're gonna be messed up. Okay, actually, you know what? Sorry. I think I'm gonna be more used to this being on two after all. <laughs> I just don't want to change it up too much here. Oh, thank the Lord saving. <sighs> Nurse's Journal, September 27. Admitted over 20 mysterious illness patients. Patients in the isolation wing exhibiting severe limb necrosis, fever, muttering delirium, and signs of hyperphagia. 
Possible infection? Tried every antiseptic. Still no blood work back from the research wing. Ask again. Dr. Young was bitten while treating one of the patients. We've disinfected the wound, but his fever won't go down. Nothing works. Meanwhile, the outpatient wing is complete anarchy. The patients are delirious and growing more violent by the minute. We've called in our off-duty staff. It's all hands on deck now. We have got to contain this chaos. This is like an outbreak epicenter. Jeez, okay. Way too many healing items. And even more, why are they giving me so much? I'm kind of scared. I can even combine another one right here. Do I need that many? Granted, later on, maybe. Yeah. Um, I'm gonna put in the tape player here because we're probably gonna um, walk back this way so that we can get down to the um, voice recognition thing, right? So we'll come back here. Okay. Thank you. Do you want to give me some more pistol ammo now? Not that I'll really use it. It's only got eight bullets on it. 